Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at how to write the equation of a line that passes through two points. So we have find an equation of the line that passes through the points 3, negative 2 and 9, 2. So for any problem where we need to write the equation of a line, we need to find two things. We need a point and a slope and then we could write the equation of the line. But for this example we don't have a slope given to us so the first thing we want to do is find the slope between the two given points. So we're looking at the points 3, negative 2, and the other point is 9, 2. So what we could do first is label our points as our x1, y1. We could call our first point the x1, y1, and our second point we'll call it x2, y2. So now to find the slope between these two points, we could use the equation for slope. We have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what we could do is we can make a direct substitution right into the equation for slope. So we're looking at y2, which in this case is positive 2, minus y1, and our y1 is negative 2. So we have 2 minus negative 2 over, and we're looking at x2, which in our case is 9, minus x1, which in our case is positive 3. So now we simplify. And we have 2 minus a minus 2 when we subtract negatives, that operation changes to addition. So we have positive 4 over 9 minus 3 is 6. And now we just need to reduce this fraction. And to do so, we could divide the numerator and denominator by 2. So our fraction reduces to 2 thirds. So for the next step of this problem, we just found that we have a slope of positive 2 over 3. But to write an equation of a line, we need a point and a slope. So since we have two points to choose from, we could choose either one to plug into the point-slope form equation. But since we already labeled it as x1, y1, we'll go ahead and use the point 3, negative 2 with the slope of 2 over 3. So for the next part, we could set ourselves up with the point-slope form equation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave out m, x1, and y1 and replace them with a blank pair of parentheses. So all I did was swap out x1, m, and y1 with blank parentheses. And the reason I do this is it helps avoid common sign errors that may happen when you subtract negatives. That way you could keep track of all your signs. So we have y minus y1. So we're going to replace y1 with negative 2. Equals, and we have m, which we just found to be positive 2 over 3, times x minus x1 and our x1 is positive 3. So for the next line we have y minus a minus 2 which changes to y plus 2 equals and we distribute the 2 thirds. So we have 2 thirds times x which is 2 over 3 times x and now positive 2 thirds times negative 3 is a negative and we could write it as 2 over 3 times and we'll write 3 as 3 over 1. This will help illustrate how we're going to multiply these two fractions. So for the next line, we have y plus 2 equals 2 thirds x. And now notice the common factors of 3 we could cancel out. So we have minus and 2 divided by 1 is 2. So this is our next line. So now our goal is to write an equation of a line in the form y equals. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Now 2 minus 2 will cancel, and we have y equals 2 over 3 times x, and now negative 2 minus 2 is a negative 4. So our equation is y equals 2 thirds x minus 4, and if you do have time, it's usually a good idea to check out that the two points are actually on the line. So if you plug in x equals 3 and y equals negative 2, you should get a true equation, and the same should hold for x equals 9 y equals 2. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on writing the equation of a line that passes through two points. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.